Ever since YouTube gained popularity and became an actual job for some, influencers have been around in one way or another and became mainstream. It's not uncommon for people nowadays to recognize internet celebrities. Some of these celebrities are even cats. YouTube isn't the only place to find these influencers. You can find them almost anywhere on the internet now. TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, the influencers are there. And many influencers branch out from one site to another to increase their clout and popularity. But there is a problem with today's influencers, and we are going to discuss it. I am sure you have all heard about the exposure of some influencers the past few years on YouTube. James Charles, Onision, Minnie Ladd, and Gabby Hanna are a few right off the bat. But what have they done that is so wrong? In the past or present, they have all been exposed to manipulating their fans in one way or another. Grooming, scamming, and even straight up preying on their fans because of their platforms. Some of the YouTubers I used to watch daily have been exposed for doing these kinds of things to people and it's absolutely disgusting. Some of the things that these influencers do for their fans is not wrong, like giveaways and meetups, but there is some that use their platform for the wrong things. Most of their fans are so young and impressionable that they don't realize that they are just being used and then it's years later before these influencers are put in the spotlight for their horrible actions that happened in the past. Let's look at a few of these examples just to get an idea of what you need to watch out for. James Charles and Gabby Hanna are the most recent with controversies. However, we're going to focus on James Charles in this segment. At the age of 21 currently, his life should be only starting with adulthood, but sadly, it has taken a pretty rough turn for the worst. James has nobody to blame but himself. What did he do wrong? James seems like someone that wants a little love in their life, but it has been done in the worst way possible. In interviews, James has even admitted to wanting someone as young as legally possible. Here's where the wrong comes in. Instead of using dating apps where ages of people are a little more honest, James has been reaching out to people under the legal age through his huge Instagram platform and through Snapchat. He has been sending inappropriate pictures to children. YouTube has reprimanded him by demonetizing his channel and other sites are seeking to punish him as well. Granted, some of these people pursued him when they were underage so that they could get some clout. But the fact that James took the bait and took their word is even more damning for him and his career. Next, we'll talk about Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna, a few years back, caused a stir with her fans too. Not only was it shown that she manipulates people to follow with her agenda, but she even scammed a whole bunch of her fans. She promoted makeup brushes that would be issued out for free for her fans if they used her promo code. However, they had to pay for shipping and handling, so it wasn't free like she said. Still, people gave her the benefit of the doubt and bought the shipping for the brushes. The brushes came in and they were cheaply made and falling apart. The brushes were estimated about $2, whereas the shipping was 10 or more. So people were upset, and when she was confronted online, Gabby basically said, what did you expect with a free product? This caused her a lot of hate for basically scamming her audience over cheap brushes and not giving a shit. She isn't the first or last famous YouTuber that will scam her audience for a quick buck. There are many out there that try this the second they get a following. The way the whole situation was handled just proved that Gabby didn't care about her audience and only wanted to make some quick cash. She isn't well liked as she once was and is just like James. She has nobody to blame but herself. These are just two examples of influencers taking advantage of their fans for their own gain. There are certain things that you can do to not become a statistic. The victims in these situations are not to blame even though I am sure some feel ashamed or guilty for what they have given these influencers in the past. Anything from pictures to money just fuels some of these influencers and makes them keep doing it. So what can we do to prevent it? For starters, keep a safe distance away from these people. I know that it is probably the best feeling in the world when one of these influencers follows you or sends you a direct message, but remember, there are thousands of other people just like you. People like James Charles or Anision and Minilad know how to pick their targets based on the info you put online. Posts, status updates, tweets, links, pictures, anything you put will be used as research on you by them. If they're reaching out to you, they probably have another motive and could potentially use you if you give them the chance. That's just it. Don't give them the chance. If you follow these people and they start talking to you, make it clear that you are only a fan, disclose your age, and then make it obvious that you are either too young or not interested in them like that. Some fans don't care about this and go through with things only to regret them in the future once they are older. Don't be like that. In the world of online, your parents can't always be there to protect you, even if they try. You have to protect yourself as well. Be wary of people reaching out to you if they have a huge following. 
And if you are one of those people that are constantly sending messages to influencers, just stop it. Being thirsty for their attention will encourage them to do things to you and make things worse for you. Influencers that know better will either ignore you or keep the combo casual. But right now, anyone can have a platform if they try hard enough. In fact, an old man recently died after gaining some fame on YouTube for singing along with popular songs, and it turned out he wasn't who he was supposed to be on YouTube. It turned out that he had a history of being known as a child predator. People can put on a fake face for the internet world, and if you aren't careful, they will prey on you and reveal who they really are. Nobody is truly safe unless they protect themselves from this kind of stuff. Even with money, don't give in to the deals that some of these YouTubers show if you don't think it'll be a good product. Remember the BetterHelp scandal? So many YouTubers were sponsored by them and didn't even know what was wrong with the site until it was exposed by someone that actually read the terms on the site. That person was careful and looked into what they had to to find out if the site was honest or not. Imagine what you could do for others if you were careful like that. As for the people that have ulterior motives online with a following, knock this disgusting crap off. Stop scamming people for money, stop preying on your audience, and stop manipulating your fans for your agenda. This includes getting your fans to send hate to someone or something you don't like. Don't you think there's enough of that shit going on right now anyway? This goes for all celebrities too. Knock it off. It just makes you lose followers and makes you look like an asshole when you are exposed. In this day and age, just the slightest bit of wrongdoing can cause an influencer to lose their credibility and livelihood on a platform. And honestly, that's how it should be in some situations. As long as some people come forward and aren't afraid to expose these people, everyone will take notice eventually. Commentary channels are amazing about this stuff, and I am grateful that some of them continue to do this no matter how big the influencer they are talking about is with their following. I love the fact that there is no fear in exposing a big figure in the community if they are doing something wrong. I feel that in the real world, some journalists won't speak out about celebrities doing awful things because of what these celebrities can do to them. Thankfully, with the internet being as crazy as it has always been, those that are in the wrong are usually put under the spotlight and scrutinized by their audience and peers, if not punished by their platforms. So just to summarize the whole video, be careful with your personal info online and your money. Not every influencer is in it to make a good impression on their platforms. Some just get too big for their britches and it really shows when they start thinking they are above the law. The internet is so vague sometimes when it comes to different laws being upheld that many people think they can get away with what they are doing unless they are proven otherwise. Scammers are everywhere and are also on the platforms you like to visit. Don't give them your money because they tell you to. Do research before you buy things that they promote and watch how the influencers interact with their fans. If your gut is telling you, ew, that bitch be creepy, then your gut is probably right and you should steer clear. Take privacy settings seriously. You can only protect yourself on the internet. Don't let yourself down. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.